dead. According to the family, Mama Sara had been sick for a while and died at Jaramogi Oginga Odinga at Referral Hospital in Kisumu while receiving treatment at the age of 99. Mama Sara rose to the limelight in the year 2006 when then Senator Obama visited Kenya. Willie Lusige is in Kisumu covering this for us and now joins us live. Lusige, lots of condolence messages coming in. Have we heard from the family on their plans? Yes, we have spoken to the family a moment ago, actually at the Jaramogi Ogingo Odinga Teaching and Referral Hospital here in Kisumu, where they were giving a little bit of more information on what transpired before the death of Mama Sarah Onyango Obama, who we know is the grandmother to the former United States President, that is Barack Obama. And they have said she had fallen sick since September last year. She had stroke, actually, and then her condition deteriorated on Sunday when she was transferred quickly to the Jaramogi Ogingo Odinga Teaching and Referral Hospital and sadly early in the morning, actually around 4.45 a.m. in the morning, that's when she died. And because she's a Muslim, the preparations for her burial began immediately where uh, it was not clear yet if she will be buried today or tomorrow, but we have spoken also to the family and they have indicated even though she's a Muslim, and she was supposed to be interred today. They have postponed the function to tomorrow so that to give more time to the family members, especially the grandchildren, to be able to travel all the way from different parts of the country to come here uh, in Nyanza so as to be able to be part of that uh, ceremony that will happen tomorrow. So far, the body has left Jaramogi Oginga Odinga Teaching and Farol Hospital Morgue, and it's, it's, uh, it's on the way towards uh, Kogelo, where she comes from and where she has been living for many, many years, even during the time that Barack Obama came here for the first time in 1988 and then also in 1992 when she, uh, he came with uh, his wife and apart from that all the other visits Mama Sarah Obama has played a key role in making sure that Obama when he comes to Kenya he's safe. Let me speak to some of the residents here to Anze Najinalako, Mama Sarah Obama Mefariki, Labda Unaomboleza na Polezako kwa familia. Yeah, my name is Peter Aura. I come from Kisumu. It's a great loss to us as a family and as the Kenyan community as a whole. Mama Sarah Obama played a very critical job, work or role in Obama's presidency. Obama saw us the first mother, the living mother and the living father. Because the dad died long time ago, Mama died, and so the role she played was very instrumental. You remember when Obama was, was uh, vying for the presidency in the US, he came back to Africa and Kenya and Alego in particular, to, con to confirm with the family, to start everything from the family ground. So that role is a great miss and a great loss to Obama uh, as the former president. And we hope that Obama comes and uh, buries the mother, if all goes well. Uh, so that we also uh, confirm that he really had us at heart and at burial at that difficult times. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ndugu, uh, Jinalako. It was Samuel. Yeah. And the eh, Nasema pole sana kwa yale ya metendeka. Ni pigo kubwa sana katika county ya siyata siyapeke ya kipigo kubwa katika inji yetu. Teifaletu kwa jumla. Tunawapa pole. Mama likuwa mama msuri ambaye likuwa natenda maneno msuri sana. Sasa vila meenda hivi tunausuni. Na tunaweza kukumbuka kwa yale ambaye likuwa natenda msuri sana. Yeah. Asante sana. So Ashley and our viewers tomorrow definitely all the roads will be leading to Kogelo where the Mama Sarah Onyango Obama will be buried and most probably preparations are underway. And also my colleague Kevin Ogutu who is there will be able to give us more details in terms of the preparations for the last day or the last moment of Mama Sarah Obama who died actually early in the morning around 4.45 a.m. as a result of stroke and also sugar related kind of health issues. All right. Thank you very much, Willie Lusige, for that. Of course, as he mentioned, him uh, together with Kevin Oguto, our reporter, will be covering this extensively for you in a way only we can here on KT News.